back, everyone. The Anh Storytelling Club comes back with a new story. We are Vũ An. And I'm Nhã Ca. So, do you remember our last story? Sure, the story with the title, The Wind and the Sun. What do you think about the story? It's a good story. We received hundreds of writing. Thanks for following and supporting us. So, what did you learn from the story? The story, The Wind and the Sun, teaches a lesson that sometimes gentle frustration is mightier than the strongest force. This is what is story from Isa Fable of The Wind and the Sun tell us. The new story today is The Apple Tree and Our Parents. This story had two characters, right? Is the apple tree and our parents, right? I don't know yet. Let's watch the Viet Anh Storytelling Club groups retell the story. I can't wait. Let's, Let's go. go! Once upon a time, there was a huge apple tree. A little boy used to come to play near the tree. He would set for juicy apple. He would play alongside the tree and rest under the shade. The tree was overjoyed after meeting this little bundle of joy. One day, the tree was surprised to see the boy approaching it with a sad face. Come on, little boy, play with me, the tree asked the boy. I am no longer a kid to play around a tree like you, the boy scolded at the tree. I need toys, I need money to buy toys of various designs and sizes, the boy told the tree. Sorry, my dear boy, but I don't have money to give you. But you can pick all my apples and sell them. That will give you a quite money to buy toys of your choices, replied the tree in soothing voice. The boy grabbed all the apples and sold them. Then he got money and bought toys of his choices. Spring went and autumn came, but there were no sign of the boy. One morning, the tree saw his friend again. The little boys had run up into the big man. Hey, come along with me, the tree said. Sorry, I cannot play it. I have family now and we need a house for shelters. Can you help me? The man replies. Sorry, my boys, but you can chop up my branches to build your house of your choices. The trees told the man. Then the man cut on the branches and lived happily, and the tree was allowed to see his friend smiling again. The man returned one evening to the apple tree. Come and play with me. The tree asked the man, I am getting old. I want to go sailing to relax myself. Can you give me a boat? The man asked the tree, Use my chunk to build your boat. The tree told the man, He cut up all the chunk and build a boat out of it. He went sailing and never showed up for a long time. The man returned after many years. Sorry, my boy, but now I do not have anything to offer to you. I have nothing for you anymore. No more apples, no more branches, no more junk for you to climb on. The tree said with a penitent voice. No problem, I too do not have any teeth to buy. I am too old to climb tree. The man replied, I just need a place to rest after all this day. The man replied, Old tree roots are the best place to lean on. Come and sit down with me and rest. The old man sat down. The apple trees were glad and smiled with tears. So, you've watched the storytelling retelling the story. The challenge for you today is answering the questions that Nyeka brings here. Okay, the first question is, why the story is called The Apple Tree and Our Parent? The second question is, what can you learn from the story? So, we, we welcome all the comments below or write it and send it to your English teacher. A lot of reward cards are waiting for you. Thank, Thank you, you and see you next time. time.